What's going on YouTube? It's Chat back here with another video. And before I hop straight into this next video, I want to say a special thanks to each and every one of you guys for first of all clicking on this video and a special thanks to all of you guys who are subscribed. It means so much to me and like it makes me believe that I might have a chance of making it in this industry and uh, I appreciate you guys so much. So if you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe, show some love to the channel and uh, let's get straight into this video, boys. <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm going to be doing a top 10 best fitness YouTubers. Well, and before I start listing them and who I've got and why I think I have them at that position, this is my total opinion. This is not the actual best YouTubers. Everyone has their own opinion. And I think these guys deserve to be in the top 10. There's many more that I think should be in the top 10. I was originally going to do a top 5 video, but I was like, there's so many that deserve to be in it. I'm just going to go ahead and do a top 10. And there's a lot I think deserve to be in this top 10 that aren't. But this is just my personally top 10. So at number 10, this one is arguably, I don't know if I should have put him here or not, but I did anyways, is Connor Murphy. And if you guys know who Connor Murphy is, you know that his videos are very interesting he does he don't he does workout videos but he all does a lot of videos that involve like doing stuff around girls and like how to get girls and the aesthetic physique and all the poses and stuff and honestly i don't i think he's one of the first youtubers i watched actually but I think he deserves to be in the top 10. Let's be honest here. His content is entertaining. It's very entertaining to me. Fake or not, uh, Connor Murphy, if he's a douchebag or not, he's very entertaining, and I think he deserves to be in the top 10. I mean, that's just what it is. All right, at number nine, we have Steve Cook. And... I think a lot of you guys probably know who Steve Cook is. One, because he's like one of the biggest Gymshark sponsorships. And he's just a very, I like him. He's a, He seems like a very good guy. And he's very entertaining. And he's very strong. And he's a, I think he's a little bit older. He's in his like uh, upper 20s or 30s. But he's still very entertaining, energetic, loves to go to the gym. And he's just, a, I think he's very inspirational. And that's why I have him at number 9 in the top 10. Because... He's so successful in the fitness industry, and I think he just deserves to be in the top 10, honestly. Especially above Connor Murphy, in my opinion. At number 8, you guys might not know who this guy is. His name's Zach Perna. He's also another Gymshark athlete, but he is... This guy is funny, okay? Some of his jokes are a little, like, cringy, but... I think he's funny, he's hilarious to me, and he always goes to the gym with a smile on his face and a big attitude that he's going to go destroy the each and every lift, and I just like him, and if you aren't subscribed to Zach Perna, go check him out, he's good, I like him a lot, he's just very energetic, and I like energetic, when I'm watching a video, I want to see someone who's energetic and happy to go to the gym, and it's willing to work out every day, and that's something I definitely need to work on, because... I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym, but and I need to make a video, but I can be like, all right, it's time to make a video, boys. I go to the that's why I need to be like, because that's like Zach Perna. He's always energetic. At number seven, this guy is not only a fitness YouTuber, but he's also a very successful gamer, and I bet you guys already know who it is by me saying that. It's Faze Sensor or Doug Sensor Martin. I like this guy. That's just straight up. I like this guy. I think he's entertaining. He's very good at video games, especially Black Ops. That's pretty much how he got his start. But what I like about him is he's very into gaming. But he's also a very strong individual. He leaves time to go out, go to the gym, work his body down, get bigger. And that's why he deserves to be in the top 10. He's number 7. He works hard. He's built a following for himself. And he's very successful. And... He's very entertaining. His content's very quality. He makes very quality content. And he, I think 
Number seven is perfect spot for him, honestly. At number six, all right, people are gonna might argue this one, but I enjoy watching this guy. Is Dylan McKenna? And if you don't know who Dylan McKenna is, he's one of the Jersey Boys. And if you don't know who the Jersey Boys are, that's David Lay, Dylan McKenna, and Cornelius Masterson, Quinn Vitale, people like them. And I put Dylan McKenna at six because I like watching strictly workout videos. And Dylan McKenna is the one that posts a lot of workout videos, and he posts pretty regularly, which I respect that a lot about him because I know it's a grind to get constant out there. And I think he deserves to be number six. He's There's a lot of conversation whether he's natty or not. Personally, I think Dylan's natty. I think he I think he's natty. But, yeah, number six for Dylan. At number five, this is one of the my favorite. Honestly, I probably should have put him at number three. I'm, uh, but I have him at number five. And that's Teron Beckham. If you guys don't know who that is, he used to be a football player. But he's, uh, he makes very quality videos. Go look him up right now. Check him out. Teron Beckham. He's got like, I think he's got blue hair now. He used to have green hair. But he always does different color hair. And he's very strong. Honestly, he, he looks big and strong. But he lifts way more than he looked like he can do. Like, it's insane. He's very strong. And I put him right up there at number five because he trains at it intensity that I have not seen before. He trains harder than probably anybody on this list except for maybe one or two. And I know he's in there every day. He doesn't take any days off. He diets. He does everything, guys. And I think he deserves to be at number five, Teron Beckham. Number four. You guys probably know who this is. He's blown up lately. I got Larry Wills. Larry Wills at number four because... This guy is a freak. He's a freak because of the weight he lives. And he looks like a straight up powerlifting beast. He does competitions. He is open about his steroid his steroid use. But still, this guy is insane. He's strong. He competes. I th he's the strongest YouTuber I've ever seen. The strongest guy I've ever seen. I've never seen him, but ever seen on YouTube or any of that. Like, he's insane. That's all I gotta say about Larry. He's and he's very energetic to the gym as well. All right, this is where it gets down to the top three. These guys, especially number three, were very hard. Actually, number one was the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. But I mean, yeah, these guys deserve to be in the number three. Well, top three in my opinion. At number three. Alright, this could, one can be argued. I've got David Lay. And I got David Lay at number three because he's the guy, one of the guys that got me into lifting. I saw his transformation video like probably everybody else watching this video right now. And was like, dang, he's sm he was smaller than I was. And he got to that, I can do it. But the biggest question about David Lade is, is he natty or not, similar to Dylan McKenna? Personally, I have no clue. I want to think he's natty. I think he could be natty or he could be on steroids. I don't know. But steroids or not, he's very strong and he's very inspirational. I think he makes very quality content and I think he deserves the number three spot. Alright, number two. Personally, I think he's the biggest guy on here. I got Bradley Martin at number two. Why is he at number two and not number one? Because number one was just straight up easy. Like, that's easy. But Bradley Martin, this guy is a beast. He makes probably the best videos on here. He's strong, he's funny, and he does all over the place. He did all the getting hit in the face by KSI and like ball. He does anything to get the videos out, and I respect that. And he's built a following for himself, and he deserves what he's got. And he's got he's got his own gym, zoo culture, and 
a very successful gym. He's got all the equipment. He's just a beast, guys. You can't you can't help but like you gotta like Bradley Martin. This guy's this guy's oh he's so big. I don't understand how people get that big. But Bradley Martin, number two. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to look at the list anymore. Number one. Remember, guys. This is my opinion. Number one, easy hands down decision. Like this, this guy, he's young. He grinds harder than anyone I've ever seen. He's bigger than anyone I've ever seen. He's more jacked, more ripped, more motivated, and the funniest guy. He gets all the girls. Definitely Jack Hodge. Jack Hodges is just the definition of fitness, in my opinion. He's so strong. <laughs> yeah, definitely go look up Jack Hodges right now, or maybe go look who posted this video. He might have posted this video. Go look right now. See who posted the video. And subscribe to Jack Hodges because he's a beast, and he's number one, and he's the best. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm, I'm cocky, but... uh. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not cocky. That's kind of a weird word. I'm arrogant, but I'm not that arrogant. I'm not number one, but in my opinion, I'm number one. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is, like I said, this is my opinion. This is not the actual best, or I would not be even in the top 50. But, yeah, this is my opinion on the top 10 best fitness YouTubers. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video, especially if you stayed this far. And I think all these guys deserve to be in the top 10. And if you dis like comment down below in the comment section if you agree or disagree with my decisions. And if you disagree, who should be in the top 10 that isn't and where should they be? Make sure you guys go comment down below what you guys think. And thank you so much. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.